I will be giving a tutorial on how to check the process of your applications. There are two ways, one that is an immediate general answer, and the second you will get a specific answer by filling out a web form. To get an immediate answer, please go to canada.ca and search in the search engine, check processing times. It will bring you to a new web page where you can click the first link. And that will bring you to this web page. I will be checking for my application for a PR card replacement. So I will hit under the first button, permanent resident cards. And under the second, I will click, yes, I am renewing or replacing my card. After that, I will get the processing time. So the average processing time right now is 27 days for my application. If it's been longer than the time shown above since I've applied, I can check my application status. But if I don't see an update, I can use the web form. Once I click the web form, I will see this page. This web form I use if I want to ask about my application, ask a general question about a program or service, give new information about my application, change my contact information, add, change, or remove a representative, or report a technical problem. So first, I will click Tell Us More. It will ask if I have submitted an application for permanent residence, student, visitor, or worker. I will hit yes. And if your application is being processed by an office outside of Canada, so you will hit yes or no depending on your answer. I will hit no. Then I will hit go to web form. For time's sake, I already filled out the web form to permanent resident card. There's a bunch of things you can choose from. The type of application, so it can be my initial card or a renewal or replacement, and then your inquiry. Please make sure that this message needs to be in English or French. So for me, I will say my application for permanent resident card replacement exceeded normal processing time, and I want to know the status of my application. I used a fake name and a fake date of birth and country of birth for the applicant information. For the inquirer information, that's the person who is asking this, you will input your relationship to the applicant. You can either select applicant, which means you are the person themselves, the representative, or the sponsor. Once I hit applicant, my name will show up from the above and I will input my email address. Afterwards, I will hit I agree with consent and disclaimer and hit next. It will then ask if I would like to include a document with my submission. I'll hit no, but you can hit yes if you want to include this. And then it will ask you to confirm your email address and date of birth. After hitting next, you will see this page, which means your inquiry has been successfully submitted. This is how you check your processing times.